Sports Gamer. If there was ever a ringing endorsement for spending the extra money and getting MLB The Show 21, RBI Baseball 21 would be it. The latest installment in the RBI Baseball series from MLB Advanced Media, RBI 21 looks to enter a more realistic environment for players while keeping that arcade feel. Though it does some things okay, it's mostly a game wrapped in a package not worth touching. Wow! That was crushed! A solo blast! Before getting into the on-field action, let's talk about what there is to do. RBI Baseball 21 includes Exhibition Play Now, Home Run Derby, Postseason, and Franchise modes. There's also a new create a player option that allows you to build the players you want, including yourself. It's a pretty deep suite for a first time offering, and you can then take the players you create into franchise mode to use however you want. Franchise is where you're going to spend all of your time as you spend up to 10 seasons building your team into a World Series contender. The mode gives you various settings that you can change like in past installments, but there's not much new there that you haven't seen before. Now online play is non-existent on the Steam version of the game that we played, but there is the workaround using Steam's Remote Play Together feature, but it's really just not the same, and it's a pretty big disappointment for a game with full licensing built by MLB themselves to not offer players online head-to-head -head matchups. Hello everyone, I'm Fran Charles. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Moving on to the gameplay is where RBI Baseball 21 really starts to fall flat in so many ways. The game is a buggy mess with animation, AI, and just general issues galore. There are pitching bugs where a curveball will be 150 miles an hour and look like something out of backyard baseball. Then you'll see your third baseman run all the way to center field in a situation that doesn't call for it at all. You'll also witness the AI, even on the higher difficulty settings, make a throw to absolutely no one. I get that this is an arcade game with some semblance of simulation, but this isn't a case of a simcade game looking more on the arcade side. This is clearly a case of a game that didn't take the time to make sure animations flow in any normal capacity. While sometimes players will actually look like they're running like normal, other times we'll see them slide across the field. You'll see a ball look like it's going to go by a fielder only for it to warp and magically end up in their glove. Throws will look as though they're coming out at terrible angles and missing the target, only to still end up being accurate. The animation issues take you away from any sort of immersion with the game and it makes you feel like you're playing an alpha build of a PS2 game. Luckily, there are a couple bright spots with the gameplay. Hitting does feel better than in past installments, with it being more responsive no matter the controls, and pitching is easy to grasp and is a pretty nice mix between that simple arcade style and simulation level of control. It's just not enough to make the game very fun on the field once the ball is put in play. Curveball, that's high. Ball one. The best part of RBI Baseball is clearly how the game looks. Player models are impressive and the stadiums look great. The new progressive day-night cycle adds to the real-life feel of the game, and it's a really nice transition when you go from sunny afternoon skies to a setting sun at dusk. Everything from the shadows on the field to how things look around the stands offer a nice broadcast-like touch. Unfortunately, once again, the drawbacks take away from any positivity this game offers. Play-by-play -play makes its way to the series for the first time in the form of MLB Network's Fran Charles, but let's be real, it's a feature that should have stayed in the dugout. While adding play-by-play -play was a desire for many fans, including myself, it doesn't feel like it was a fully hashed out feature before being added. Now Charles is fine, but the splicing together of the audio is something straight out of the early PS2 and original Xbox days. Everything sounds like there's too long of a gap between the lines, like when a player name is said and then the action that happens on the field. On the ground, to the right side, scooped up by Bado. The potential is there, but like the animations, MLB Advanced Media just didn't succeed in the execution of the elements. That's going to the upper RBI Baseball 21 tries. It really does. But trying only gets you so far. The game needs to be fun. It is in short spurts, but there's nothing really redeeming about what RBI Baseball 21 has to offer. Franchise mode is the same as it has been, and the animation and AI issues just cause more headaches than what they're worth. If you really want a portable MLB game for the Switch, or you have a young child that won't care about the problems much, then RBI Baseball could be a game worth getting. But even at a $30 price point, 
it's tough to really recommend this game for anyone looking for anything more. For more RBI baseball and sports gaming news daily, be sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video goes live. And as always, visit our website at sportsgamersonline.com.